Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Okay, good day. Welcome to Fission Mobile e-learning class. My name is Bolaji. I'm here to teach you on the topic course sequence and the course is mathematics. Topic course sequence. Topic sequence. Sequence is an English word. Mathematically, sequence is defined as a succession of terms generated according to some rules. Sequence. Sequence. They can ask you arrange this object in a sequential order. Arrange this object in a sequential order. And that is why sequence is defined as a succession of terms generated according to some rules. Example, let me show you an example of a sequence. Example of a sequence where you have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Now, in this kind of numbers, you discover that this is a sequence of number that has a word, a difference of what two. How do we have a difference of two? Look at here, one, three, three minus one, give us two, five minus two, give us two, seven minus five, give us two, nine minus seven, give us two, 11 minus nine, give us two, and so on. This is a sequence of terms. This is a sequence of numbers. And it has rules. What is this rule that guided it according to this definition? Is because we have a difference of what two? We have a difference of what is called two. Now, there are different types of sequence. We have two types of sequence. We have what is called arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence. Types of sequence. Type of sequence. We have arithmetic sequence. We have geometric sequence. One, two. Sequence that is majorly classified into these two. Arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence. Arithmetic sequence is defined as a sequence in each term differ from the preceding term by a constant amount called the common difference. By a constant amount called the common difference. That is, is defined as a sequence in each term from differs from the preceding. Look at that definition. From the preceding and do what? And by constant amount called common difference. Let me give you an example of arithmetic sequence because it differs from the preceding by a constant term called the common difference. For example, example one on arithmetic sequence, example one, where we have a succession of this number, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 14, etc. In this kind of number, we have a constant term because we say it differs. It defined as a as as a, as, a, as a succession of a numbers that differs with a constant term. Now, what is this constant term in this kind of sequence? Is that four minus two as two, six minus four as two. 8 minus 6 has 2. So the constant term is 2, which certify an arithmetic sequence. We certify an arithmetic sequence. But there are formulas that we use for this arithmetic sequence. There are formulas that we use with, with arithmetic sequence. But before I go on, I want to explain the second sequence, which is called geometric sequence which is called what geometric system uh, sequence geometric 
sequence. That's the second sequence. Geometric sequence. Two. Geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is a type of sequence that has a constant term which is denoted to what is called a common ratio. It has a common ratio. It's in line with the preceding term. It's in line with the preceding term that is when you compare the definition of the arithmetic sequence with the geometric sequence, the only thing that makes a difference is common ratio in geometric sequence. Why in arithmetic sequence we, 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 we hold on a constant term called the common difference? Therefore, we have patterns of sequence. We have what? Pattern of sequence. This pattern of sequence gave birth to the formula of sequence give back to the formula of sequence especially in arithmetic sequence arithmetic sequence now what are these pattern of sequence pattern of sequence pattern of sequence pattern of sequence now pattern of sequence the pattern that is terminology we apply in sequence we have n term n term n term of a sequence n term of a sequence what is n term of a sequence this n term of a sequence is using this formula tn is equal to a plus bracket into n minus 1 bracket into d. This is called an n term of a sequence. What is the formula for this tn? tn means the total n term. The total n term of a sequence while our a n term of a sequence Why our A is called the first term? Our N is the number of term. Our D is called the common difference. It's called the common difference. So the N term of a sequence gave us the clue about arithmetic sequence. This is the formula for arithmetic sequence as i said earlier on the pattern of a sequence which give us number one that is the terminology used in it applies to the arithmetic sequence so this is the formula for n term of a sequence in term of arithmetic sequence we have n term of a sequence in term of a geometric sequence now the n term of a sequence in terms of geometric sequence, the n term of a sequence in terms of geometric progression or sequence is that we have t n also have t n because it's an n term equal to a raised to power n minus one. That is t n equal to a raised to power n minus one. What is our a? Our a is the first term. Our R is the common ratio. Our R is the common ratio and our N is the number, number of term. So this is an N term of a geometric sequence. Let us proceed by giving you an example that involves N term of a sequence in terms of arithmetic progression. Example one. Example one. Find the common difference in the following arithmetic.
progression. In the following arithmetic progression, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, then 13. Find the common difference. As I have given you a formula, the n term of a arithmetic sequence, which is t subscript n equal to a plus bracket n minus 1 bracket d, which is the formula for an arithmetic sequence, is what we apply here. Because when you look at this place, it satisfies the equation of having a constant term called the common difference of 2. We have the first term. We have the 3 here, which is the next term. Another next term, which is 5. Therefore, our common difference is 3 minus 1. That is, D, which symbolizes common difference, is equal to 3 minus 1, which gives us 2. Another common difference is equal to 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. Therefore, our common difference of D in this equation, that is, Tn, is equal to A plus bracket n minus 1 bracket d d here that satisfies the pattern of a sequence in terms of arithmetic progression d means common difference and that is what they ask us to calculate in this question therefore d is equal to 3 minus 1 2 5 minus 3 equal to 2 i am confident that you understand the n term of an arithmetic progressions by solving these equations and i know that by the time I give you an evaluation to solve, you'll be able to solve it accurately. Before I proceed, I would like to give you a few questions to solve. Wow! You've gotten the answer right. Let us proceed to the n term of a geometric sequence. The n term of a geometric sequence. The n term of a geometry system. Don't forget, we are dealing with pattern or sequence, and it gives us the knowledge about arithmetic progressions and also a geometric progressions, in which we have explained types of sequence. In this topic, it's very important for us to know because sequence gives us a clue on how numbers have been arranged according to some rules. That was our first definitions of this topic. Let me proceed by giving you this example. Find example two. Find find the common ratio. Find the common ratio of this number. Find the common ratio of this number. 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 86. Find the common ratio of this number. How do we solve these questions? As I've given you the formula for a geometric progression, which satisfy that Tn is equal to A raised to the power N minus 1. And what is our A? Our A means the first term. Remember, our N means common ratio. And our N means numbers of term. This means first term. First term. This means common ratio. And this means number of term. Hmm. R means common ratio. N is equal to number of term. Therefore, therefore, how do we find our common ratio in this? Remember, this is our first term. Our common ratio means 6 over 3. 6 over 3, which 6, 3 year 1, 3 year 2. Consider this 12, 
That is 12 over 6, 6 year 1, 6 year 2. Consider this 24 over 12 because as we consider the preceding term, we consider the constant term. This constant term is called the common ratio. 12, 24 minus 12 divided by 12 is 12 year 1, 12 year 2. So their common ratio is equal to 2. I'm confident that you understand this topic called sequence in which we expand the n term of, of an AP progressions and also the geometric progressions. Before I conclude this topic, I would like you to solve these questions so as to know how much you have understood it because I know you understood it perfectly well. So attend these evaluations.